Hello everyone, I am Hyde Siebel, also known as The Deputation. I'm going to be giving a layout update, and if you're wondering why I haven't really made any type of update or operations video in a long time, it's I've got a variety of reasons to describe for this, but basically it was like, you know, I always used to make the monthly C-Month videos and operations videos and whatnot, like H locomotives in action, and, you know, it really killed the fun for me in running trains. I've, you know, I've always been about the repair process. I've always been about working on the engines themselves. Like I've always said, my, the only time I really enjoy running an engine is when it's uh, it's first run after a rebuild or a repair or restoration and whatnot. That's the only time I really enjoy running something. And with the steam up videos and nature look one is in action, like uh, you can remember back in my old videos, those were monthly. And things became such a hassle because I became so focused on trying to get like the perfect video angle or perfect picture for you know that operation, but it, it I never really focused on actually having fun, and that's essentially the most you know mo most important part about it is having fun. So you know I just I lost a huge interest in wanting to make videos after that, and I I still did a lot of work. I always did work. Uh, I just I just haven't made a video you know that long time. I made around. Since like my last update video, I made around 12 different videos up to date, uh, but I never uploaded any of them. I about I edited edited about half of them. Half of them I only started editing, and the other half I really didn't even touch. So it, was just, it was a bunch of videos around 12, 13 that I did. Uh, you know about there were update videos, operations videos. Did an incredible amount of videos, but I just never uploaded them because at the end of the day, you know. I just didn't have the interest to do it. Like uh, the problem with a lot of the update videos that I did was I would I would make a change right after that video that would make that update no longer essentially adequate, and that kept driving me nuts. <laughs> so, and you know I always kind of felt like I love answering your guys' questions, but I always feel like a lot of these videos leave you know so much untold, and there's so many questions still. Uh, get to be answered. That's what I really don't like. I always try to answer as many questions as I can so that there's really no confusion, essentially. Uh, I just really have not had an interest in wanting to upload videos on YouTube. Uh, like, uh, I, I didn't even want to upload the 605 video to my account, but uh, I made that for my Facebook uh, group, and uh, I couldn't get it to work on Facebook for whatever reason, so I just, you know, shot myself in the arm by putting it on YouTube. You know, it's just like, there's... Because I knew there'd be like so many que like questions about it, and a lot of people thought that the 605 was back in operation, and those all those videos and pictures were old pictures and videos of just the videos were uh, between the time of December 2013 and uh, June 2014. That was the time period that she was operational. Pictures showed the rebuild process, and at the time she was not done. So I don't know why people were saying "Welcome back 605" when she wasn't done. Uh, she is now actually. She's a part of the update. I'll show you. Uh, I'm just trying to give a, a, an explanation as to why I'm not making so many videos anymore, why it seemed like I'm pretty much gone, you know. Uh, another huge thing is that uh, this is, 2015 is going to be the last year of this layout, and what I call the final year of the SCBR. Uh, mainly because I'm a senior in high school now, and I'll be going to either a trade school or college. I won't be here by the end of 2015, essentially. So I've only got about a year and a half more of this layout for... I'm going to end up tearing it up because my dad wants the garage space back. So I'm trying to do as much as I possibly can to enjoy the final year of operations. So I'm doing a hell of a lot of layout projects and just rolling with it, basically. But uh, I hope that kind of describes everything of why I've been absent lately. It's just like, you know, for whatever reason, like the operations, the videos just kind of killed my interest in running things. I still do, just not a whole lot. I haven't run any type of excursion things since... Uh, January, but uh, after I finish all the layout projects, which I will get into, then uh, you'll likely start seeing some videos again of it. So let's Basically, go ahead and we start the layout projects. And the point of the layout projects has to do with the fact that, like I said, 2015 will be the final year of the SCBR, Santa Clarita Valley Road, because this layout will be torn down by uh, probably the end of 2015. Because I will not be here anymore. Seabolo Motorworks will exist, but obviously not on the layout. So, to essentially re-spark my interest in running things again, I 
have been making a variety of different new projects, stuff to add to the layout so that I would enjoy. Basically so that I can make 2015 all about enjoying the, oper the final operations of my layout. That's the whole point of the layout projects basically. Here's one of the first completed ones. I took out this portion of ballast, put some nice green turf as well as some orange trees. Makes the location very photogenic. I did this a while back but I made a great crossing here. I'll eventually I'll have working lights for the crossings. Here I've done my, even though it kind of looks like a diesel servicing thing, it's uh, my freight platforms. This is a freight depot, so make this a uh, freight platforms, pay into them. It's new siding obviously, I just need to buy the switch, which will be located right here, right where the caboose is, and it will switch in. And there I have my another freight siding essentially. Uh, I replaced both these lights because uh, the wires and the other ones were bad. So uh, see they both work. See there are the old ones down there. My bay window cabooses. Here's another great crossing. <clears throat> and this is a uh, the station parking lot slash walkway for the excursion goers. Uh, there will be a chain link fence all around this. Obviously it stops at the crossing but goes around to the back there. Now, I'm not going to get into this whole lot but uh, a couple weeks back I inherited my cousin's deceased uncle's train collection and there was a, there was a ton of rolling stock with only about five or six engines. Here are two coaches from it, two River Rossi Santa Fe coaches, very nice. A little AHM center cab engine. Uh, I don't really see anything else from it right in front of me. Uh, got this off my buddy Ray. It's a Southern Montuo 40 Pony number 27. I built a oil bunker for it. I have to do the um, filler cap first. I also made a custom Folsom State Prison coach for my Folsom Prison number one. Painted and lettered it myself. I got this caboose a little while back. It was an old Athern kit. I got it at an antique store and I built it. I'm just going to try to show mostly everything so that I kind of get the whole idea. I lettered Siba Locomotive Works number 5. I'll add more lighting. There's a variety of stuff I'm working on outside the Siba Locomotive Works. Here's the Folsom Prison number one, which has come a very long way. Like I said, it's my 100% scratch built engine of the 1926 Alco number one. I've been more focusing on the cab. The engineer side is almost done. It's got its handrail, so it's kind of out of focus. And I've started building the fireman side. It's coming along very nicely. There's the saddle tank, which took a lot of metal work to do. Still needs a lot of work as well. Just trying to walk around, and just show most of the things. Uh, trying to think. Oh, all right, yeah, another layout project will be the addition of my Walter's turntable. Uh, it's the 90 foot one. Uh, here, I've got some wood, wood extension here. This is going to be where the turntable is, uh, as well as a wood extension on the side. Switch track will be right here. We'll switch out to there, and that will be your turntable lead. We're still figuring out some things. If I want to move the Siba locomotive works back, that way we can connect this siding with my auxiliary tender siding. A lot of un undecided and unknown things at the moment. But we're still trying to figure it out. All right, so now we're going to get to look at some in-depth uh, engine projects that I've been doing. First and foremost, the St. Louis Southwestern Roundhouse 4 for tuner 605 is finally done. Yes, sir took a new motor and a new idler gear as well as another lead motor wire but she is finally back in operation I've yet to do a lot of the paint touch up and re-detail work uh, I have no idea where the hell I put her front handrails that went up from the right here all the way up to the top the kind of, it was walkway handrails essentially no idea because you have to remember this engine was taken apart around a year ago uh, so I have not a damn clue where those are. Hopefully I'll find them because I really don't feel like making some new ones. But I can't even tell you how great it is to finally have the 605 back in operation after so much hard work because 
I mean, I tried to show just how in-depth and how, you know, major of a project she was in the video, but, you know, even then it was still kind of hard to show everything. It's my beloved Siebel Locomotive Workshop. And I really don't feel like getting into this, but this is my Broadway Limited uh, Reading T1 number 2102. I got this for my birthday. I made a video of it, but I uploaded it on the wrong channel. Uh, you can go find it. It's on... Uh, I believe it's the the 2066 channel. I uploaded it to the wrong channel, but just uh, search on YouTube uh, "HL Birthday Gift" and you'll find it. Uh, really love it. I'm not a huge fan of BLI, but I had to get a T1 because I love the 21 or two. Sounds great. Smoke is amazing. Very nice engine. The 20 number three. I just got out recently to uh, run and clean. Just need to get that headlight, and then she'll be uh, used quite a bit. Here's my beloved new project, the number 11. Let's refocus. The number 11 is probably my favorite project that I've ever done because it is just such a cool engine. And then I got a here's a, here's a before photo of how I got the engine. So you can tell from that just how bare it was. I mean, it was just essentially a boiler with a cab on a frame and the tender had nothing on it at all nothing all this work was done by me with stuff I had just lying around I left the boiler in primer because I thought it actually looked pretty cool I still have to paint the bell I, as you can see I've started painting the bracket but uh, I mean this has been such a cool engine and it's come out in such a way that I never really I never really because I never had any intentions or plans for what this thing would look like. I've just been kind of winging it, but it's it's came out just so beautiful. I stripped this thing entirely apart, painted the primed and painted the frame, primed uh, the boiler and left it obviously, primed and painted the cab. I added the handrails top uh, and the sides, the walkway and the rear light and uh, the oil bunker to the tender, primed and painted it, then lettered it, sorry numbered it, I lettered the cab after me, not because, you know, I'm so full of myself, no, it's just because I wanted this to be my personal engine when it's done, and my friend Michael actually came with that idea. I've added two mark metal marker lamps to the front as well as the number plate, added a nice old style headlight on the top, got a whistle up on the dome, dynamo back there. I have to just, uh, the two holes you see there, because originally this would have came configured the number plate in the middle, the four holes you see across there would have been filled by a handrail. The hole in the top would have been for the headlight bracket and the headlight would have been on top of the bracket. The headlight would not have been on top of the smoke box. So I'll probably put a mini handrail for the two holes there and for the top hole just fill it. Uh, I've added so much detail in this engine it's ridiculous. Most of it's on the fireman's side, on the engineer side. Fireman's side I've only added the toolbox. i got to do some paint touch up around there. Uh, added all the handrails. The bell was mine. Whistle's mine. Uh, added a res air reservoir tanks, as well as uh, custom sand and air lines coming from the sides. I mean, I've really just gone all out on this engine. And uh, the final feature, I mean, because I've almost, I'm just about done with all the detail work. Final feature I got to do is uh, mechanical work. I've fully cleaned the wheels, tender and uh, drive wheels, and I'm going to be building a custom valve gear set for. Them. Yes, this Roundhouse 260 is going to have valve gear. So it's going to make it even cooler. I've got to do the air compressors, which you see go right there. But yeah. doing the, And see, you know, this project's been so great and successful because I've been doing it just when I feel like it. Doing it every now and again, a little bit at a time. And it's just come out so great. I absolutely love this engine. Hope to have it done. I would like to have it done around uh, winter time. I could have it done a lot before then, but I'm not going to rush a damn thing. But yeah, that describes the 605 and the 11. I've uh, primed the SP33 and the 204 booster because the lettering on it was so faded and worn out it was just sad. So eventually I'll repaint the parts that are primed and I haven't decided whether I'm going to re-letter it Southern Pacific again like I was originally or SLW. Over on the bench we'll here see. is my custom Southern Pacific 282 project. It originally started off as a Tyco Chattanooga 280. Obviously it does not have the Chattanooga boiler or cab. You know, 
So this is one of the engines that I got as part of the uh, deceased, my cousin's deceased uncle's collection, Jimmy. Uh, and it was in sad shape and I really didn't have any intentions for it as it sat. Because I'm really good at working on Taika locomotives. I've done just about everything imaginable. I built uh, around a dozen trucks. I've done work on just about every Taika engine you can imagine. The 430s, the 630s, the SD24s, the GP20s, the Sharks, the E7s. I do complete truck builds for Taika power truck locomotives. I do anything you need. Light repair, replace springs, brushes, whatever. And I completely rebuilt my Taika Royal Blue Toy though. Which I don't know if I've shown you that. But anyways, I wanted to put my old Clementine's boiler on on this frame, which took a little bit of modifying to do. I custom built a trailing truck for it, and here's a spare one I've got. I'll probably end up using for another engine. Uh, I trans I changed out the pilots because the other one had cracks and was broken. Uh, added a bell, added the handrails, extended the cab floor, which you can see right here is where it got extended, uh, and added my roundhouse Harriman cab. And I primed in, uh, I primed the walkway and as well as the uh, cab and tender. I still have some modifying to do on the tender. I'm not going for a full-blown representation of a Southern Pacific 282. I could show you a photo of what I want it to basically look like, but uh, it's been a fun project. I got to tell you, I just got to do the mechanical work on the power torque. It's a uh, need of a, a rebuild. But yeah. That's the Southern Pacific 282. Here I'm working on the new frame of the Seba Locomotive Works 060 number 2. Got that engine way back in like September 2012 uh, actually. So, long time. Uh, it's just using my ATSF other round uh, 060 ATSF 597's tender for testing the frame. Because I have not finished building the new tender for the number 2. Uh, yeah, here's the new frame. Uh, had to do s more either gear work was uh, motor work and then I haven't finished building the cylinder casting but once it's running then I'll start the project will skyrocket in progress here's the SCVR roundhouse and terminal area there's the Tiger Royal Blue 280 uh, I guess I can show the Southern 1550 Southern 1550 just put it in here because it looks cool all right. So the Southern 1550 was an engine that I got in 2005 at the Fillmore Rail Fest. Uh, it was one of the, essentially that's right when the Spectrum 06 OTs first came out. Uh, not the Bachman made them as, as part of their standard line a while back, but this is like part of the new Spectrum round ones. So basically, I ran up until 2010, but then the motor burned out because it was crap and got a lot of use. But I always, and I used the frame for parts for a lot of projects, like the Folsom Prison Number One. I've used it, I think, some parts on 11. I've used it on a lot of things. But I've always kept the shell in pretty good shape because I eventually wanted to, uh, sorry, I was putting the footboard back in place. Eventually, I wanted to buy a new Spectrum 06OT and just switch the boilers. The only thing that was missing from my 1550 was the headlight because that got lost some time ago. Uh, and I had the number 8, if you can remember. Uh, the number eight was my undecorated Spectrum Muscle XLT I got uh, for my birthday in 2012, and I lettered, uh, numbered it, uh, but I, and I eventually had plans to letter it. But you know, it was a great engine, but I just didn't use it a whole lot. And I figured, you know what, I'm gonna have. I don't really. You see, I have a lot of plans and things that I will get done before the line is done in 2015 or 2016, essentially. But uh, getting another Spectrum Music OT to switch the boilers was not part, essentially, of my final year's plan. So I just figured, eh, what the hell, I'll just switch the shells and while the boiler was off, I got to lube up the motor on the frame and it runs very well now. So the 1550 is back and uh, I'm going to be using it quite a bit. While I was on spring break up north again, I got uh, visited a train store that my buddy Hunter works at now, but he didn't then. It's called Railroad Hobbies in Roseville. Got these two very nice roundhouse Pullman Palace cars, SB Daylight Scheme, St. Vincent, and uh, Santa Monica. I'd like to get an observation to kind of round out the set, basically. Now, the, here's my old Athen Blue Box uh, CP rail. 
SD40-2, number 5415. I had this one of the first diesels I ever had. Um, I'm adding hand rolls to it. I did a full mechanical rebuild on it. The new motor, new drive shafts, a couple new wheels. I've been adding the hand rolls slowly to it. Just about done. Just got to actually install the actual wire for the hand rolls. Then it'll be done. Got to repair the beacon because I want to get that working again. This is coming along nice. This is a general statement. My collection is very, very large. A lot of times it's kind of overwhelming the amount of projects and stuff I have going on. Uh, but I would say about 60% of the stuff is actually on the layout. There were around 60 engines on the layout. And I don't even feel like counting how many cars. There's a lot of coaches and stuff on it. But if we're wondering where I keep the rest of it, it's in a lot of places. Like underneath the layout, where there's a bunch of projects and Tyco engines here. Uh, over here, there's a bunch of stuff. Those are more projects. Uh, got stuff over here, here, there, everywhere. <laughs> Now I can go over where I keep my other engines. Well, obviously they're under there too, but where I keep the most of the operational ones. Here's some other stuff down here too. Here's a huge pile of rolling stock that gets switched out occasionally. Here's my organized system of engines and other stuff. Here's a ton of more rolling stock up there in the boxes. Here's my Tyco diesels as well as my Proto 1000 uh, California Northern GP15. Pull some taco cabooses. Here are my freight diesels, my big ones, as well as coaches. These are my F7s. Now I own a ton of those. I think like 15 or I think it was 14 or 15 I own total. You see, I have ones over there and there and there. I love F7s. These are my road diesels and switchers. This is my Amtrak and Metrolink stuff. For the most part, I have two more Metrolink coaches and a bunch more Amtrak stuff. Here's just a bunch of steam locomotive tenders and parts. And here's just more rolling stock. So that should kind of show just how damn big my collection is and how overwhelming it is. So, just what times. are my final plans for the last year of the SCBR? Well, to be completely honest with you, I really want to more focus on operations. It kind of sounds not my style, because I love repair work on locomotives. I would rather do that. That's why my brother and I are always such a good team. Obviously, he's been in college for about four years now, uh, and he's not been around. But that's why we always were a good team growing up, because I would always do the repair work, keep the things running and cleaning. So I'm really, I'm very religious about keeping my locomotives, wheels, and the track clean, so everything runs smooth. I love working on engines, but it was always such a good team because I loved repairing the engines and he loved running them. So that kind of explains why there's not a whole lot of. Run. It's not that I don't, it, you know, it's a hard thing to explain. It's not that I don't like running the engines. It's just that as soon as I get that engine operational and I know that it's good, I'm on to the next project already. And I've got multiple going on at one time. I mean, you've seen just how much stuff there is. And I'm one person. I do all my own work, I do everything myself. And I've taught myself how to do everything. And that's, to me, I hate conceited people, and I really don't like talking highly of myself. But that's one of the most things that I'm proud of is that I do all this work myself, and that I've taught myself how to do it all. It wasn't a person who showed me how to do it. You know, the way I learned was through trial and error of my own experiences. And that was kind of the best way to do it, in my opinion. But the final year of the SCBR, 2015, should consist of a lot of operations. Hopefully. We'll see. I want to get most of the layout projects done. Uh, during summer as well as during winter. Uh, that way for 2015 I can focus more. That's why I'm trying to get a lot of my engine projects done. That way 2015 can just have fun. You know. So uh, the layout projects are pretty good impact on what we got going on right now. And uh, just try to I'm trying to more I don't really have a, a secure list of things that I will get done and that I won't get done in the final year or so, but I do know basically in my head what I will and what I do and what I don't plan to do. Uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, Event-wise, I plan on doing a Cebu Locomotive Steam Fest to more kind of uh, showcase the return of the St. Louis Southwestern 605 uh, after I do all the repainting and, and paint touch-up on her to make her look good again. 
Uh, that, that should be pretty soon. As soon as I finish the Fools in Prison number one, which is a little bit of ways away, I will do an 040 Steam Fest, because I own 14 040s. All different types. Tendered ones, tanking ones. I love 040s. Um, I might do one more Rail Fest in winter. We'll see. And that one will probably be to show off the number 11. I've kind of got it all basically planned out, but we'll see how far it gets me, really. Uh, but yeah, I mean... Should be pretty interesting. I've been working my ass off lately, and I'm one person doing this all. I built these layouts. I do everything: the scenery work, the engine work, everything. Well, I hope that basically touched up everything I plan to do. Uh, showed basically all the things that I got recently and whatnot, all the projects I'm working on. So yeah, if there are any questions, comment, and I will get back to them because uh, I love answering questions and. Uh, but just as a thing, don't expect a lot of videos from me, uh, update-wise, because it's really a hassle to kind of show everything that I'm, as I'm going. Uh, if you have a Facebook page, join my Facebook group, I Love Model Trains. But it's I Less Than Three Model Trains, the heart, crap like that. That's the group. That's where I post all my updates just about every day. So, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys' comments on it. I'm not back, you know. Uh, I wouldn't say I've never left, but I never really came back, you know, I'm just doing this for the sake of you guys, because I appreciate a lot of the support and everything I've gotten from you guys. But yeah, enough rambling. That is my layout update and a complete explanation as to what I've got going on. 2015, the final year of the SCVR, and you know, it should be a good one. So thank you guys very much for watching this. I'm Hyde Siebel, The Deputation.